Chapter 8, Santa Claus. Twas the last day of school before winter vacation, and the children were having a small celebration. Their artwork was hung by the blackboards with pride, snowmen and mooses in a joyful sleigh ride. They ate homemade cookies, red and green ones, of course, when Kathy declared, I don't believe in Santa Claus. She just opened her mouth and said what she said. Santa Claus isn't real, and besides that, he's dead. So you bet I will pop pout, and you bet I will cry. You bet I will shout. I'm telling you why. Stephen covered his ears. No, you're wrong, he shouted. It's not true. There is a Santa Claus. I know there is. Ho, 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 laughed Kathy. Kathy is just saying that because she never gets any presents, said Jason. All she ever gets is a lump of coal, said Rondi. Wrong, said Kathy. I get lots of presents. My parents buy them for me. They have lots of money. They buy me anything I want. She bit off the head of a reindeer cookie. The only thing that matters is how rich your parents are. If they have lots of money, then you'll get lots of presents. If they're poor, then you'll just get a few crummy presents. Everyone tried to argue with her, but Kathy just asked them all the old questions, like, how does a fat little man fit down a skinny chimney? Or, how could he visit everyone's house in the whole world in one night? And of course, nobody knew the answers. Nobody ever does. Only Santa knows the answers to those questions, said Rondi. Don't you even like Christmas? asked Stephen. Sure, said Kathy. I get lots of presents, and I don't have to work. Then she stuck out her tongue and called Stephen a jerk. Poor Stephen sputtered as his face turned quite blue. If you don't believe in Santa, he won't believe in you. But Kathy just yelped, you know that it's true. Do you still believe in the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, and Miss Zarvis too? Let's ask Miss Jules, said Mauricia. She's a teacher who's wise. Let's ask Miss Jules, she never lies. The children crowded around their wise teacher's desk and asked her the question never found on a test. Is there a Santa? You're a teacher with smarts. It's Santa, is Santa Claus real? They asked with pure hearts. And oh, Miss Jules, that teacher so wise, looked at their faces and bright eager eyes. She had to say something. It was her job to reply. Tell them, yelped Kathy, that reindeers can't fly. Outside the window, snowflakes were falling. Inside the window, Miss Jules was stalling. Are our parents all liars? Is it all just a trick to make us be good for fear of St. Nick? Tell us the truth. Don't try to fake it. Is there a Santa? Let us know. We can take it. Miss Jules cleared her throat. Then she cleared it again. She put down her pencil. She picked up her pen. Hey, look, shouted Leslie. Look there. Who's that? Someone is coming in through the guzak. Sure enough, the door opened. It had to open quite wide as a stranger looking stranger stepped sideways inside. He wore a red suit and had a white fluffy beard. And even for wayside, he looked pretty weird. His fat belly shook like a bowl full of jello. There was no doubt about it. They knew that fellow. It was Lewis, the, the yard teacher. What are you doing in that, that stupid suit, Lewis? Asked Sherry. Aren't you hot? Why are you wearing a fake beard? Asked Todd. Is that a pillow under your jacket? Asked Jason. Kathy was delighted. See, she said. That proves there's no Santa Claus. If there was, Lewis wouldn't have to dress up like a fool and pretend to be him. I'm not Lewis, said Lewis. I'm Santa Claus. Ho, ho. You're lying to us, Lewis, said John. Everyone is always lying to us. Kathy's right. Christmas is nothing but a dirty, stinking lie. I was just trying to bring a little holiday cheer, said Lewis. Go home, Jerome, said Terrence. Now, that's no way to talk to Lewis, said Miss Jules. Lewis is one of Santa's special helpers. Really, Lewis? asked Edie. Lewis looked at Miss Jules. That's right, he said. The children were all very impressed. 
Have you ever met him? demanded Kathy. Well, no, not exactly, Lewis admitted. See, said Kathy, it's just another lie. You don't have to meet Santa to be one of his special helpers, said Miss Jules. Then how do you know what he wants you to do? asked John. That's easy, said Miss Jules. You just have to be nice to other people. Whenever you give someone a present or sing a holiday song, you're helping Santa Claus. To me, that's what Christmas is all about, helping Santa Claus. Can I be one of his helpers? asked Damien. You bet, said Miss Jules. Hey, everybody, shouted Damien. I'm one of Santa's helpers. Me too, said Allison. There must be a Santa Claus, cheered Stephen, because it feels so good to help him. So the children all helped Santa in every way they could, by singing songs and giving gifts, and just by being good. But there is no Santa Claus, Kathy continued to yelp. Well, if that's the case, said Miss Jules, he must really need our help.